Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about Food Fight the Card Game, released by Cryptozoic. The app, just new in the App Store, was released by Playdeck, the makers of Ascension. Let's take a look at this app and see how it compares to Ascension as it is a different type of game with, I think, a different design goal. In Food Fight, players are competing to be the first to get 10 points. They gain these points by winning battles on different meals that are worth different amounts of points. They use cards in their hand that have special abilities to compete for one of these meals. Each meal they will draft a hand of 10 cards or simply be dealt it depending on the difficulty mode they are playing. And then they will pick 5 of those cards to be in their army. These cards will then be shuffled and dealt randomly in a war type battle. After drafting, the main mechanic of this game is a war type battle where players flip their cards and see who has the most yumminess or point value. In this case, both are tied, so both receive a point or an after dinner mint. The player with the most dinner mints in a particular battle will win that battle and the points associated with it. In some cases, you will be able to boost your players, such as in this case I have fries, I can use ketchup to make it worth more points. Food Fight is not a complex game, but if players use the drafting method, there can be quite a bit of strategy and choice involved. Food Fight is a fun game, but the humor does fade after multiple plays, and sometimes it seems like you'd rather get something else to the table because of its weight. Let's see if the app fixes any of these possible problems. Food Fight is an interesting app to look at, as it is very different than Ascension, the juggernaut from Playdeck. However, that does not mean it is wrong, it just means it's a different type of app. Food Fight focuses more on single player play and does allow online but may not have the same competitive circles that Ascension has enjoyed. There are several play options in Food Fight. You have online, offline, and campaign modes. First, let's just look at an offline single player game. You can have several games going at once, and you can have up to four players of varying difficulty levels. There are three levels of difficulty in the game, and if you are experienced, I would recommend going with a higher difficulty level as the simple difficulty is fairly easy to beat. You can also choose your avatar from several choices, and you will unlock new ones as you play the campaign mode. These avatar choices range from humorous to disgusting, depending on your point of view. Once you have set up your profile, you can also choose whether you will play the drafting mode or the bootcamp mode. I recommend in almost any case to play the drafting mode as it adds strategy to this game, whereas the bootcamp mode simply gives you cards and gives you no choices. The cards you can choose will be highlighted and you can pick one to draft and then you will get the next hand of cards. You continue doing this until you have 10 cards and then we move into the next portion of the game. You can double click to see cards closer and read their abilities. Once you have chosen uh, your cards, you choose five to play and then the battlefield you wish to play on. Then you, each player reveals their cards and you see uh, how many points you receive for that battle. In this case I only received two compared to the other players 11 and 8. If you want to see previous cards that players have played, you can tap on their picture and it'll show you everything they've played for that round. Play continues until you've played all five cards, and the player with the most dinner mints will win that round. Online multiplayer in Food Fight is very well done and similar to that of Ascension. The async mode, honestly, in my opinion, does not work as well because of the short turns in this game. However, the programmers have thought of this, and players, for example, when drafting, are allowed to draft all of the hands at once, so it makes logging on a more substantial experience. The campaign mode is a new addition in Food Fight and is very welcome. It adds a thematic twist, allowing you to play against each of the special cards in the game, and they become characters with their own home base. In each of these locations, you battle through each meal of the day, and then against the character themselves, who each have a special ability. The game does feature a built-in tutorial, which is very well done, as well as a rulebook that you can access if you have further questions. The game is simple, and I believe this tutorial will allow most players to learn the game fairly quickly. The app does feature options for sound, as well as game and animation speed, which really helps speed up this game. Also, you can access a card gallery, as with Ascension, you can get a closer look at this bad magazine style art if you do enjoy it.
Food Fight, of course, is not Ascension. It's a different app with very different goals. It is much more thematic and goofy, but also does not maybe have the same competitive replay value as Ascension did. The app also seems better suited for iPad, even though it is universal, as the iPhone controls can seem somewhat cramped and information can be difficult to manage. This app does excel in two very important ways. One, it shows the importance of a campaign mode and how well it can add to the thematic value of a game. I hope we see more campaign modes from Playdeck in the future. Also, most importantly, this app takes a game that is a little bit trivial and a little bit humor-based and makes it something that's quick and easy to play on iOS and I believe gives it more staying power than a physical copy of the game. Mm -hmm.